guys, it's Inka, and today I'm gonna be testing out five famous celebrity ramen recipes to find out which one is actually the best. And on today's lineup, I've got recipes from Hwasa, NCT's Chenle, David Chang, GOT7's Mark, and also Kylie Jenner. I have measured out all the ingredients exactly as the recipe stated, and because I love ramen, I will also be judging to see which one is actually the best ramen recipe. I'm super excited. Let's get started. First up, we have NCT's Chenle. He starts with cooking the chopped tomatoes first, crushing them with a fork to really make the soup tomatoey, and then he adds a big heaping tablespoon of laoganma chili sauce. He did say you could add more if you want to, so I went ahead and did that. Then he adds in the dried vegetables, the seasoning packet, and of course, the ramen. And then we're pretty much just cooking the noodles down in the broth until it's almost done. That's when we stir in a scrambled egg, stir again a little more, and then we just plate it up and top it up with what is now a really flavorful broth. And there you have it, Chenle's ramen recipe. So this one looks right off the bat kind of spicy, and it smells spicy. And I love the color. It's this like almost like bright red, which I guess could be kind of terrifying, but I love spicy. So I'm actually very excited for this. Go for it. Yep. What I love about this recipe is that he kind of says that you can add as much spice as you want. I went pretty heavy handed on it. I feel like it really enhances like the original spice packet flavor. This feels like something I would get at an actual restaurant. Up next, we have Hwasa. She starts by tossing in the dried vegetables and the ramen, letting it cook down until the noodles have separated. And then she adds in the seasoning packet and basically lets it cook until the broth has reduced all the way into a much thicker sauce that coats the noodles beautifully. That's when she adds in a generous amount of truffle oil, making the noodles extra shiny, and then she plates it up and tops it off with an egg yolk, and then she mixes it all up before she eats it. And that's it, Hwasa's ramen recipe. These noodles, I think, are the ones that look the best out of the bunch. The sauce really clings onto the noodles and there's that like beautiful shine from the truffle oil. I'm very, very excited about this one. I love the way Hwasa kind of cooks this, where she kind of cooks it with the sauce and lets it like simmer down and reduce until it becomes this like gooey, thick sauce that again coats the noodles. And then you get that added element of the truffle oil, top it off with, you know, an egg yolk. It again felt like something that I would be eating at a restaurant. And yeah, so I love that she kind of made it fancy in her own way. I think this is great. Next up, we have David Chang. He starts by tossing in some butter, olive oil, black pepper, and a lot of grated Pecorino Romano into a pot of water, making it into what he likes to call cheesy water. And then he adds in the ramen and basically cooks it in this cheesy water, letting it absorb all that flavor. He did also say to take out some liquid if there's too much, but we're basically reducing it into a sauce thick enough to coat the back of a spoon. At that point, he just plates it up nicely and tops it off with some freshly cracked pepper. And that's David Chang's ramen recipe. So this one is probably the most different from the rest. This is almost like an Italian take on ramen, if you will, as David Chang says, even though he also agrees that the Italians probably wouldn't be happy if they heard him say that. But I love the creative spin he puts on this. I would say this surprisingly works. Honestly, this opens up so many doors because that just means we can cook ramen with literally any pasta sauce we want. Like instead of spaghetti bolognese, maybe it's ramen bolognese. I feel like it could be good. I feel like it could be good. I think this goes to show how versatile that ramen can be. Like who knew you could do it like this? Next up, we have Mark's recipe. He starts by pretty much cooking both the cup noodles and the instant rice cakes according to package instructions, which is just adding in some water, the seasoning packets, before microwaving them until almost completely cooked. And then once that's done, he combines the two together, giving it a good mix to make sure that the sauce is covering all of it. And then he adds in some mini sausages and tops it off with a lot of cheese. He didn't say what cheese, but it looked most like mozzarella, so we're going with that. And then he just microwaves that again for one minute until the mozzarella just melts completely, and it's done. This is Mark's ramen recipe. Look at that. 
Serve me instant ramen like this and I would eat it in a heartbeat. This just looks super indulgent. And I feel like it's everything I love in a cup. There's sausages, there's ramen, there's rice cakes, there's cheese, and it just smells amazing. This is like the ultimate guilty pleasure. There is literally nothing that I would not like about everything in this bowl right now. I think the other thing I love about this too is that it's literally so easy. It doesn't involve as much cooking as it is just like putting things together, but I think it is kind of a genius move on Mark's part to be able to create this dish using just like convenience store items. So I love this a lot. All right, so for Kylie Jenner's recipe, she starts by adding the ramen and the seasoning packet into a pot of boiling water and cooks it down enough for the noodles to loosen. When that's done, she adds in some butter, some garlic powder, and also a scrambled egg. Give it a good stir, super straightforward, and it's done. There we have Kylie Jenner's ramen recipe. So this one smells very garlicky, very like buttery. It's almost like garlic bread vibes from this one. You can see the eggs in it too. Hmm. I think looks wise, this one probably doesn't get too many points, but the flavor is kind of surprising. So just from that first bite alone, I do feel like these kind of just feel more like garlic buttery noodles. It could be garlic buttery pasta. It tastes a lot less like normal ramen at this point, but it's not bad. Out of the five celebrity ramen recipes, my favorite has to be Mark's. To be very honest, it was such a close tie between Mark's and Chen Liz. Mark's is just so accessible, it's so easy. Anybody can make it and the flavors just work together so well. Also because every single component in his recipe are things that I love. So there you have it, Mark has the best ramen recipe. There were a lot of really strong contenders. So let me know which one you think is the actual winner. I hope you guys enjoyed this and we will see you guys next time. Bye.